Hello guys! Oh. Hello guys! Welcome to another recipe. Okay, so we're gonna have a recipe. Before that, please subscribe to this channel if you are interested for keto recipes or keto information as a Filipino. So we're gonna make another uh, recipe now. Very, very simple recipe. At saka, dalawang main ingredients lang siya. Cabbage at saka chicken. Of course, the chicken has to be well seasoned with salt and pepper or whatever spices you want to add but also salt and pepper lang tapos here's what we're gonna do um how am i wearing this I'm, uh, because i went out kasi to buy things so we just need ito we just need the cabbage actually malaki siya tingnan niyo na mukha ko <laughs> malaki siya and then just di ba may mga damage damage siya so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out the core tanggalin natin to at saka etong mga damage na parts then after that, I'll show you the chicken. I already seasoned the chicken. Sorry. Uh, there. Medyo, ano siya? Medyo dark. So, ito na yung chicken. So, just seasoned with, sorry, with salt and pepper. Okay? Salt and pepper lang siya. So, after mong gawin yan, let's go to the, to here. We are just, di siya klaro, guys. Pero we're just gonna boil some water. And we are going to put the cabbage into the water. But by then, I just want the water to boil first. Let the water boil first. And then once it's boiling, turn it, turn the heat down. Because we just want to blanch the... We don't really want to cook all of it, no? Cook it through. We just want to blanch the cabbage hanggang sa lumambot siya. Para it will be... Uh, pliable or malambot siya enough to wrap around the the chicken okay so ito pala yung ano microphone ko when i'm making uh, talk videos that's my microphone the audio technica i'm gonna do uh unboxing on it and if you already saw my videos preaching uh, I, i'm also a preacher for those of you who don't know um i use that for my main talks okay so yep i'll be back later on to show you when it's boiling and I'm just gonna uh, clean the cabbage, okay? First. And then dapat pa aslant yung ano. Yung hiwa nila. Yung hiwa nila. Yep. Just to take out the core. And then we will see. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, there it is, the core. And then set it aside. Tapos, tanggalin na natin ito. Yung mga damage goods. After na hugasan nyo, just right there and then you lower the lower lang siya. and then you just blanch it until it becomes tender okay tapos good good tapos guys pwede mo siyang ganyan ooh diba maalsa na siya guys Ayan. Dapat pala siguro baliktad yung pagkalagal ko guys. Dapat naka underside sya. There. Diba? Tapos isook mo lang sya ng mabuti. Isook mo lang sya ng mabuti. Hanggang sa lumambot na talaga. Yung repolio. Madali naman syang lumambot. Diba na parang maan na nga eh. tapos huwag natin siyang pakuluan ng masyado ano lang parang kaunti lang diba? para lang lumambit siya okay yep at after pala nito we are going to cook na the chicken So, malalaman nyo pala guys na 
naluluto na siya kasi parang mas nag-green yung ano yung color ng cabbage kanina kasi parang yellow siya tapos ngayon di ba may green na talaga siya parang gumigreen na siya hmm. so again we are just blanching it ha parang ano lang we are making it uh, softer but I think this is still part of prepping for cooking di ba yung binablanch mo yung ano yung mga vegetables kahit yung mga broccoli pwede mo siyang i-blanch lang kasi pwede mo namang kainin to ng raw kaya lang of course mas mabuti kahit yung broccoli broccoli tsaka yung parang kung tagal broccoli broccoli tsaka yung cauliflower diba so yan you can just splash it with the ano, water there para maluto din yung kung pwede kayong gumamit ng mas malalim na ano na pan mabuti Tsaka mga, mga amoy mo rin kasi may ibang smell or aroma yung ibibigay yung ano, yung cabbage. So I think that's okay na para hindi naman siya gaanong ga ma, ma, mag-disintegrate, baka mapunit na siya. And then I'm just gonna take this out and put it back there and then let's cook the chicken. Alright, so, alright, so as usual, I pop the chicken in the oven after frying it like lightly lang or like like enough naman not to burn it or not to make it really brown a little bit brown lang light brown so i pop it in the microwave oven just so yung ilalim niya maluto talaga okay and then dito we already sorry yung pinaka cabbage niya di ba malambot na siya so yeah yeah tamo tapos nandito yung iba so, yeah. Are we not enough lang siya? Okay, let's try to wrap it now. Okay. Alright, so, alright, so, ito na siya. So, first, medyo mainit siya, guys, ha? So, konti lang yung lalagay natin. So, uh, let's wash our hands, diba? So, after mo wash ng hands, so, maybe, one or two of them, na ganun. Konti lang. Kasi, ganyan siya. Wrap mo lang siya ng ganyan. After, wrap ng ganyan. Yan. Tapos, i-wrap mo pa siya ng ganyan until, yan lang. <laughs> yan lang guys. Isa pa. Okay, so mga dalawa ulit. Tapos, konti lang. Kasi malaki na rin ito eh, no? Hindi siya bite size nga. More than the bite size pa. So, one, two, then dito, then dito, tsaka fold mo siya. Uy! Napunit. Yan. Yan lang siya, guys. Diba? So, kung ulit tayo dito sa ating pinaka, yan. Tapos, marami na, marami na rin ito, guys. Tsaka, pwede mo namang dayain yung sa meat. Kasi, yung cabbage nga, is nakaka, nakakabusog na rin siya. Diba? So, pwede mong lagyan ng marami or hindi. Nasa sa iyo na yun. Kung dadamihan mo yung meat, depende rin sa available na meat na nakuha mo. Yan. Diba? Ganda. Tapos, isa pa. Actually, marami pa. Hindi lang isa pa. So, ito. Mainit-init pa siya yung cabbage. So, tingnan natin kung kaya ng, ng mapunit para hindi naman siya sayang. Tingnan natin na kung kaya niya. So, ah! Ang init ng meat. So, dalawa. Tapos, tingnan natin kung kaya niya. Yeah, pero ano nga lang siya? Parang may butas siya. Anyway, okay na rin. <laughs> diba? So, andito nang yung malaking ano ko. So, kuha tayo dito. So, ganyan. Oops, lazy. Oops. Ito, ewan ko kung paano to. Hindi siya kaya kasi parang punit siya, diba? So, set aside muna natin siya. Dapat yung may, ano, 
Ayan, parang may stem. Ooh, mainit. So, ito may dalawa. Ayan. So, pa, dapat ganito. Dapat ganito yung, pag, yung kukunin mo. Tapos, yung parang may nakakap na ganito. ba diba? So, ganun siya. Parang siyang cup, guys. Tapos, nagyan mo ulit ng mga yung ano lang, enough lang naman. Huwag yung marami. Yung kahit ganito lang. Diba? Tapos, one, two, then side, side, then wrap. Diba? O, oh, ganyan. At guys, ang nakakapayat dito is yung cabbage, of course. Kasi it has a, it's a cruciferous vegetable. Very good for keto. Tsaka very low carb. And green siya. So, it could help you with your liver and your gallbladder to uh, kick out excess fat, kick out talaga. But, you know, this is just a very simple recipe na very effective. By the way, when you blanch a vegetable or a fruit, the complete process is to, after in the boiling water, you put it immediately in an ice bath. But in this case, I did not do it because we ran out of ice. But if you want the complete process of blanching, a vegetable or fruit, uh, dapat nyo siyang ilagay kaagad sa malamig na tubig or iced water or ice bath para mahinto or ma stop yung cooking process sa vegetable para hindi siya ma-overcook. Again, this is not this method is that I'm cooking is not like the one in the empress roll na yung manipis talaga na uh, parang sa shomai. No, uh, what I'm doing is I just wanted it to, to be wrapped na crunchy pa rin yung cabbage. Alright guys? So, ito, I'm just finishing everything dito sa scene na ito. At saka, I also decided not to finish the uh, cabbage kasi nga mas lalo siyang lumiliit habang papunta tayo sa gitna ng cabbage. So, yun. So, yep. Thank you! So, here it is guys. May sobra pa akong chicken. Tsaka, hindi ko na magamit yung yung smaller part kasi hindi na siya nakaka-wrap ng mabuti. Actually, pag take note lang ha, na kapag uh, yung outer part ng cabbage, malaki yung roll niya na nakakaano talaga siya. But as you go smaller, eto, lumiliit na siya. Kaya lang, <laughs> pag kinain mo na to, it really won't matter. ba diba? Kasi it's what's up so maroon to sa, sa, sa usawa, tapos sa kainin mo. So, tara, let's eat! Yay! Ito na guys, yung ating Empress Roll. So, kuka tayo ng isa. Taste test muna natin. Kukunin ko ito. Para maganda siya. Wait ha. Tapos. Huh. Tapos. Sausaw natin. Sausaw natin sa sausaw natin na may maanghang. Tapos. Let's taste. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mayabot yung cabbage, kaya lang crunchy pa rin siya. So. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Okay na lang. <laughs> So, ang maganda dito is cruciferous vegetable yung cabbage. Diba? So, healthy siya for keto. And, isa siya sa mga recommended ng keto na if you're on keto, you eat more vegetables. And, this is very simple, affordable. Diba? Cabbage, saka chicken lang. Nakawala nga yung mga ibang sangkap eh. Wait. <laughs> The cabbage, <laughs> the cabbage, but simple, you know. The cabbage, the cabbage really goes into your teeth. So, anyway, that's it, guys. I hope that you like this video. This, uh, I hope you like this episode and this recipe. And please, you might want to make your own twist to it. Baka adan nyo ng, ng ibang mga ingredients or hindi chicken, baka giniling na beef or ano or giniling na chicken, whatever. Ito lang yung available kasi sa amin, di ba? So, 
for now, I would have wanted to have a, a minced, kaya lang, di ba, yung mga, mga ground pork or ground beef, usual na rin yun eh. So, naisip ko, baka, oh, nga, baka, para mapakita lang sa inyo na if you really want to try it, you can try it, okay? So, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I hope na you're inspired to continue your keto and to be, to stay healthy and eat more greens. And I hope I could have, I could source out broccoli and cauliflower again. But again, for easiest cruciferous vegetable, it is the cabbage. It's available. Lumakad lang ko ng, ng konti dyan. Nabili ko na siya. At yung isang malaki, it's only f mga 75 or mga 3 fourths of a kilo is 40 pesos only. So very affordable. Very uh, bud, uh, friendly sa budget natin, okay? So again, please subscribe to the channel. Please comment below if na-try nyo to or if meron kayong gusto kong gawin na uh, recipe, gusto, kong, gusto nyo itry ko, please let me know in the comments, ha? So again, stay healthy and here's to, you know, you, the, to the life that you deserve and stay keto, Filipino. Bye-bye.